What if you lived within a conscious, breathing landscape and you knew it? That that was your daily experience? That you had been taught this from the day you were born? You've been, you were taught to see it, experience it, be in it, listen to it. This is the way our ancestors must have lived, fully awake within their landscape. We can still hear stories from native perspective where they say, the animals can speak to us. The trees are our brothers and our sisters. They can, they can teach us. The land itself can teach us rocks can teach us and speak. And it's not a myth, it's not a fantasy. The thing is, is that our mind can, can take in per perceptions. So trees can give us a, a wise perception as much as a book can, right? The animals, watching how the animals interact and move within the landscape that you're living in can inform your consciousness as much as watching a documentary. <laughs> the difference is slowing down enough to see it and hear it and being taught from the moment you were born, that this is the place that you look for wisdom. You would always have elders that would point you in the direction. Instead of like being spoon-fed a belief system, do this, do this, do this. You know, it's, it, instead it's like, do this because, and watch, and see. And this is how we learned from our brothers and sisters how to be. This is why we can live here in this landscape. This is why human beings were able to travel across the entire world as so-called Stone Age people. Like it's no accident that everywhere that the conquering Europeans went, they found people. People were already everywhere, literally everywhere, way up in Alaska where it's freezing, high in the Andes Mountains, um, living literally everywhere, deserts, deep forests. We were able to live everywhere because we would listen to what that land was telling us. So imagine if you're living inside a breathing, conscious reality. And even if you're in the city, all the things that have been built there still have a consciousness and can speak to us. And we still have, there's still squirrels running around everywhere. One of our best teachers is plants. They grow everywhere particularly if you're like a gardener or you try to do a lawn, right? Plants just come in and come in and try to grow and try to grow and try to go grow. We want to only grow one thing, but the plants continuously disagree, right? Try to grow a garden, plant a bunch of carrots. Everything else grows in there as well because we live in a living, breathing, conscious world. And human beings are completely capable of living awake within this conscious world. We've been told that we can't see. I'm sitting here telling you, you can see it. You can see it if you just look. And then the absolute secret is that moment that you realize who is looking. Now, all of a sudden, once you know who you are, now you're able to actually engage, awake with this entire living, breathing landscape.
that we live in.